Hi, my name's Yo Yehudi. I'm an open source software engineer and I'm applying for the Software Sustainability Institute's 2018 Fellowship Program. A bit about me. I was born in New Zealand, lived in Israel and the USA before moving to the UK. This means I have three passports. In the past, I've worked in industry as a technical support engineer and later I worked as a data visualization developer and project lead for KNOW, an academic spin-out company in Sheffield. One of my favourite stories about working at KNOW was a time my software was used to help coordinate an evacuation in Vicenza, Italy for a World War II bomb disposal. Right now, I work at the University of Cambridge developing an open source genomic data platform known as Intermine. I work mostly with the front end of Intermine. That is, I create the parts of programs that people interact with. This might mean something like making a button do things when you click on it, or checking details that you've typed in a form to make sure they're correct. At Intermine, I also enjoy interacting with community members in a number of ways. I manage quite a few Twitter streams, including a personal account and the Intermine account. At conferences, you'll usually find me live tweeting like mad during speaker sessions. I guest blogged on behalf of PlosComp Bio, covering the Bioinformatics Open Source Conference 2017 of BOSC in Prague over a series of blog posts. I also enjoy speaking about the work I do. The next talk I'll be giving is at Better Science Through Better Data at the end of October in London, sharing the story of Intermine and how important open data is to its existence. I coordinated Intermine's participation in this year's Google Summer of Code. We ended up with five brilliant students who completed some amazing projects. I particularly enjoyed mentoring a student who created an iPhone app from scratch and got it to the iOS App Store. As well as creating software, I'm a zealous open source advocate. Let me tell you about a few of my projects. Using UK government open traffic data, I run a visualisation project which allows people to search for where they live and see traffic accidents on a map, colour coded yellow for minor, orange for severe and red for fatal accidents. I'm participating in the Mozilla Open Leaders training program at the moment and the project I'm running is called Code is Science which advocates the importance of open source code in science. If I were to be awarded the fellowship this is one of the projects I'd like to focus upon. The premise is simple. Scientific code should be open source code as a matter of course. Why do I say that? Well, let me explain the problem. Right now, it's not uncommon to find papers talking about scientific software or computational methods, but if you look around, you'll realise there's no link to the source code. In most cases, it's not even clear whether or not the code was reviewed. This doesn't make a lot of sense, really. If you publish a paper about a mathematical algorithm, you probably couldn't get away with saying, I can't show you the proof, but trust me, it's great. Yet when it comes to computational algorithms, it actually seems commonplace. So, scientific code should be peer-reviewed. As an example, here's someone who submitted a paper and is surprised that the reviewer wants to execute their code, never even mind sharing the source. Another reason that open source is important is that all software has bugs, and when the software used for science has bugs, the science is probably going to be wrong too. Here's another example. This is a thread written by someone who's conclusively discovered a bug in academic software used to perform their calculations. The software is closed source and it's not entirely clear how to report bugs, get it fixed, or let others even know about the problem. There are other reasons to have scientific code be open source too. For example, people might wish to rerun the same code using different data or just to verify the results themselves. So, what can we do to make scientific code open source? There's already a lot of effort going into educating scientists about coding. This is great and I don't want to duplicate that. Instead, what I'm trying to do is A, understand the reasons people are afraid of sharing their code, B, try and make it the norm that coding and science should be open source, and C, try and address this at a journal level rather than a researcher or scientist level. In practical terms, what does this mean I'm going to do? Well, it's in early stages right now, but I'm creating a database of journals. This database will show which journals do or don't require an open source license for code papers. If you're interested in learning more or helping out, pop over to codescience.com and add your favourite journals to the list or volunteer to pick up a technical task. There's still a lot to learn from the community about this issue. At the end of October, I'll be participating in MozFest, facilitating a session about this. 
in this session, we'll be brainstorming why people don't license their code as open source and what we can do to address those reasons and fears. The outputs of this workshop will be added to codeascience.com. Longer term, I would like to continue community outreach by blogging, writing papers, and especially by continuing to attend conferences and run similar culture shift innovation workshops, building on the outputs from each workshop as we go along. Hopefully, with enough minds at work, we'll be able to address some of the bigger issues and ensure that scientific software is sustainably open source in the future.